Hi, this is Dom from MacMixing.com, and today we're going to go over Redrum. I had a few requests to do a couple Reason videos, so here they are. Redrum is actually a quick and easy way to make any kind of beats that you're trying to do within Reason. What we want to start out first with, I have a blank session pulled up here, and we're going to go to the menu bar and click Create, and go down to Reason Drum Computer. That's going to pull up our drum machine, basically. Um, so I'm going to zoom in here so we can get a better look at this. Uh, for each track, we have different parameters we can set. The level, the velocity, the length, the pitch, the panning, the tone. And we have a select button on each track. And what that select button corresponds to is each track has its own individual set of steps. Now what we can do here is we can raise these steps or lower them. If you just want a four step beat, you just click the arrow, lower it down to four. Or if we want an eight step beat, we go ahead and raise it to eight. Now what you see here is the step blocks. Reason Redrum only shows you 16 steps at a time. So keep that in mind. If you have one that's 32 steps long, you're gonna have to use this edit steps button up here and switch it up to 17 to 32, 33 to 48, 49 to 64, so on and so on. And you can also set your resolution, whether you want 16ths, eighths, fourths, halves, 30 seconds, 60 fourths. And uh, we have our dynamic range and our flam here. So we're just going to go ahead and create a simple 16 step beat. So we have our 16 steps pulled up here and I have our kick drum selected. If you want to preview any track, you can just hit the play button up here and it'll tell you what each one sounds like. You also do have the option to change any of these sounds. If you click that open button, the little folder on there, it'll bring you to the browser that lets you go through and look at all the different kits samples and load them in. We're not really going to be doing that so I'm just going to go ahead and keep it at the default and I'm going to go ahead and click this run button. When I click the run button it's going to start the drum machine basically playing it and so we can edit our drums in real time. I'm just going to go ahead and add some kicks and we're going to start hearing them play. All right. So now we got a little kick going on. I'm going to select our snare drum. And now let me pause this. When I select the snare drum, you're going to see all those lit up blocks go away. That's letting you know that you have switched to the snare drum set of steps. Go ahead and click run again. And I'm going to add some snare drum to this. And uh, we have an egg right here. I'm going to put in an egg. There we go. So now we have a quick little beat right here. Add a ride to that. All right. Yeah, nothing fancy, but it does get the job done. So now you may be wondering, well, I can't play the whole entire song. What's the solution to that? Well, we do have patterns right here, and we can select different patterns. And when we select like pattern two, that's basically starting you out on a fresh slate. Uh, so we still do have our pattern one beat, and now we're going to have pattern two. So let's go ahead and make something real quick for pattern two. All right. All right, so now we have pattern two. All you really have to do to change the patterns within your song is we're going to go ahead and hit the record button and then I'm going to switch the pattern while it's playing. And you'll be able to see Reason pick up the new pattern and start playing the new pattern. And then from there we'll go ahead and arrange it. So check this out. All right, so there you go. Um, we basically went up in here and set up different patterns. Now let me zoom in on this for you. So we have A1, A2, A1, A2, A1. And that's just basically corresponding to that I have bank A selected with pattern one and then bank A with pattern two. Now if I were to press bank B and do that, then it would say B1, B2. Um, but since we have all of our patterns in bank A right now, we're going to leave it on bank A. 
So basically, that's a quick and simple way to make a, any kind of beat that you have, and you can experiment with uh, the different kits in here. We can actually, since we can actually go ahead and change the kit even after I've made the beat. So I'll just change it to the house kit. And you get a completely different sound. It makes uh, it changes the entire feel of the song. And uh, so that's a very easy way to make beats inside of Reason using Redrum. I'm using Reason 5 on Mac OS X 10.6.8 with Pro Tools Rewire. Well, that's what you see in the corner right here. Uh, we have a Rewire. I will actually go into Rewire at a different time and let you know how all that works. So it basically allows us to take the audio from Reason and put it in on its own individual track inside of Pro Tools so that we can use our DAW controller to mix and master that or we can have it set up inside of Pro Tools on different tracks. But thanks for the request and I will talk to you guys soon. This is Dom from MacMixing.com. Uh, be sure to visit MacMixing.com for more tutorials and also all the beats and music that are on my tutorials are provided by Dream Development and they're available for purchase on dreamsdevelop.com. Check the summary for the link. All right, thank you. Yeah.